well. Greetings and blessings to all of you at home. I hope you're all safe. I hope you're all well. And I'm very thankful through modern technology we can reach out to you. I'm holding two nails from Coventry Cathedral. They were sent to St. Paul's in 1942, right in the middle of World War II. And my dear friends, we are in a war right now. It's a very different kind of war. We're in a war against a virus. It's not a war in which we go out and, and take risks of our lives with other people. It's a war in which we must practice patience, calm, self-isolation. It's a war in which our prayers are needed more than ever. It's a war in which we follow the directives of all those who know very much about what's happening with COVID-19, with all the epidemiologists and the research and the government. I'm very thankful for Canada and for all the countries around the world which are, which are enacting many steps to keep us all safe. As I look at these nails and as you see these nails, we're reminded of our connectedness. Even though we're, we're, we're being very careful here with, with our distance from each other, we're connected in love and faith through Almighty God and through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. May you look at these nails and know that as everyone got through two major world wars, we're going to get through this. We're going to stay loving, we're going to stay calm, we're going to stay patient, and we're going to remind ourselves that we're in the Christian season of Lent, and we're doing our very best to still follow our Lenten disciplines, and we are go here to, to lead you in the litany of reconciliation. exploits the work of human hands and lays waste the earth. Father, Father forgive. forgive. Our envy of the welfare and happiness of others. Father, Father forgive. forgive. Our indifference to the plight of the imprisoned, the homeless, the refugee. Father, Father forgive. forgive. The lust which dishonors the bodies of men women and children. Father, forgive. The pride which leads us to trust in ourselves and not in God. 
Father, Father forgive. forgive. And let us say together the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. bless thee and keep thee. May the Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace.